Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as all three great houses hold their line and retain leadership of their respective regions. KOTT News crews were on the scene throughout the night, getting reactions from each of the participants. Congratulations on your victory out there tonight. Uh, letting them get three of the points early with 25 minutes remaining, but, you know, some people fight better when they have less to decide on. So how do you feel it went out there? Uh, it was a very de- indecisive fight in the four. It was super back and forth. Um, we were able to get the gate up, I think, twice and I think that really helped, and we cleared the rampart several times. They made two really good pushes and almost took uh, the keep from us, but we were able to hold strong, and we had some uh, really good players helping us out. Indeed. Anybody whose efforts out there you may like to highlight? Yeah, uh, we had Tropical X. Uh, we had some really good groups from HBM. We had uh, a couple good groups from Daddy Chill, or Chill excuse me. Um, and we held real strong. Whenever I stop in town, I want to make sure I give the governor the opportunity to let people know about any events they might have ongoing. I know you have the hall, excuse me, the, uh, Night Vale event. Yes, tomorrow night. We we have three judges that are going to, um, judge the houses. And we have, a 20k gold that we're going to pay out respectively to the winners. It might have went up. I don't know what Sama decided, but yeah. Excellent. I'll be sure to let people know they'll be seeing this. If you see this, ladies and gentlemen, that will be tonight. So be sure to head down to First Light and get your house decorated in time for the contest. In Restless Shore, Beach Bum's leadership invited us onto their ship and dry dock for a few words. Congratulations on your victory here in Restless Shore tonight. How do you think it went out there? Uh, it, w- it went good. Everybody did, did good. Uh, it wasn't the most competitive war, but I'm sure everybody had fun and they got paid to do it. And one final question. What is the name of this ship that you were building in the dock of Restless Shore? Uh, no, TBD. It's to be determined. We're going to have a pole. We're going to have a pole, and then it's going to be a perfect name. So, if you guys, if you guys have any suggestions, put it down in the comments. After the nightcap, KOTT News crews were able to speak to the undisputed heavyweight champions of a tournament. Here be monsters, no joke out there, usually taking it right to the final moments. How do you feel it went? Yeah, it went right to the final minute, dude. You know, like we say every time with Yubi Monsters, dude, we always, you know, expect them to, to win. We expect them to do something crazy. And, you know, this time they, they did do some crazy stuff, and it kind of caught us by surprise. So we like that. We like to keep it fresh, and we like to see what happens. And we're glad to still be fighting them, and we're even happier that we, that we were able to pull out the win tonight. I'm surprised it took so long. It was almost a week. Yeah, we were waiting for people to push, but nobody wanted to push. They wanted to push, like, Evanscale and, like, Monarch's Bluff, but they didn't want to push uh, Everfall yet. Quickly to the weather, and it looks like the sun is going to zigzag across the sky tonight, shaking things up a little. But it also looks like that will make the corruption forces curious, giving rise to a 20% chance of invasion. No submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, but we'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.